Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Steggy again, and today I am providing a new video. Now this is something I wanted to do a little earlier. I actually was going to talk about, you know, kind of some theories for what the chapter 3 was going to hold, and then to my surprise, on Discord, the dev said, hey, new, new, dev, blog, new dev blog up, and lo and behold, it's all about chapter 3. And that's fantastic, and I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to make a video of me going through what they said here for their dev blog, and I'm going to throw it up there. So in case anybody missed it, here it is. You can find this under the on the Raft Steam page in the community section. Um, the, 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 dev <laughs> the developers like to post their, their dev blog, and see we're up to number 47. Um, you can also find it on the, the Raft Discord, which I highly recommend joining. It's it's great. It's a great place. They do uh, um, contests from time to time, and you can find other people to play Raft with as well. So it's a really fun, you know, cool area. Um, but, and, and that's where I saw this. I saw this on the Discord. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's go through it. So let's just dive right in. It says, hello, dear Rafters. It is a new year, and it is time for a new dev blog. We hope 2022 has treated you well so far, and that your holidays have been chill and full of joy. As things go, we have gone back to working from home here in, here in Sweden, but our spirits are high and we are powering on as usual. So let us get into what is happening with Raft. Chapter 3 We will get straight into what you are all probably wondering. What is happening with Chapter 3? We have noticed a lot of you were expecting the next part of the story to drop before Christmas, and that is understandable as Chapter 1 and 2 were both released around October and November. We would have loved to be able to give you Chapter 3 at that time, but believe me when I say, it would not have been pretty. Chapter 3 is not quite ready, and that is mainly due to two factors. I will say before I continue, I am really glad that they're taking the time and they're outright admitting, hey, we are not releasing chapter three because it's not ready. We don't want to give you guys, a, you know, an unfinished game and just and and have to worry about bugs and, you know, and not finished content. And I think it's it's awesome that they're, you know, so open um, and they're providing you know, great communication with us players. And so just hearing them say, hey, we're working on it. It's just not ready yet, you know, and we don't want to give you a bad thing. It's just really nice to hear. So I say, you know, they take the time they need to push out a really good chapter. Everything good to go and, you know, we'll be happy. So let's continue. Firstly, the renovation update we released last summer did eat into development time from Chapter 3, as many of you have guessed. We have received quite differing opinions on whether prioritizing the renovation update over Chapter 3 was a smart choice. Many loved the new building and furnishing options, but a lot of you also just craved more story. But the renovation update also included a lot of features, bug fishes, and changes we had wanted to do for Chapter 3 anyways. So, it seemed to us that releasing all these changes, along with more decorative objects and features, was the best way forward, instead of waiting and bundling them together with Chapter 3, which we knew was quite a bit away still. I think this was a very smart decision. I think that them releasing, you know, bits and pieces of Chapter 3, but didn't give away anything from the story, but things that could give us extra things to do, you know, we got extra painting, you know, extra paint options for our raft. We had, um, they, they added more options for building the raft as well, including like uh, adding, you can use more wood in the constructions and make it look really nice. It's called solid and it, it does look good. You know, it is really good. I'm glad they added that. Um, they also added um, decorations that you earn and find by um, just sailing around. You find them in crates and barrels. And so that's fun, you know, earning all of those as well. So that kind of gives you things to do while we wait. And again, they said they have bug fish fixes and, you know, all these other features. So I think that was very smart of them 
to again release a little bit while still working on the bulk of chapter three. We got some time and some things to play with while we wait. So it kind of tidied us over. And I like having a little salad before you have your big meal, right? You know, you go to your restaurant and they bring you your salad or a little bit of soup. It's not the full meal, but you're happy you got it anyway. So let's move on. The second and major reason Chapter 3 has taken more time than the previous installments is simply that it will deliver a whole lot more than before. First and foremost, it will be bigger than before. And, apart from the things you have come to expect from a chapter update, like new story islands, new small islands, new raft machines, and building parts, we have some really cool things in the works that you have yet to see in raft. We will not reveal all of that in this dev blog though. So I am actually very curious and very excited to see what this what this will hold. It, it, I hope they add maybe uh, an upgrade to the bow. I hope that there's an upgrade to the bow and the shovel. Those don't really have an upgrade. The shovel? I would like more of an upgrade to the shovel than the bow. Because the, well, at least with the bow, you can make two different types of arrows. You can make better arrows that do deal more damage. Um, and so that that's kind of like an upgrade, I guess, in essence to the bow. The shovel though, the shovel needs an upgrade. It does not have enough durability. After just a few island visits, it's just done. I think even the flimsy ax that you build has more durability than the shovel. And it's just plain shovel. You know, it's not like a flimsy shovel. You know, it's not made of rocks or anything. This thing is made of metal and it just breaks, I feel, way too easily. I am hoping for maybe some more tools. I don't know about weapons because it's mostly crafting. So I don't know. Maybe like a spear gun? Spear gun might be fun, you know? Um, it also might be cool to have something that doesn't break as well. Or, or maybe something we can add to the raft like like a harpoon gun maybe that'll be helpful for hunting you know sharks or something that might be fun um but you know th like when they, here in the sentence they're talking about new story islands well we knew that there's probably going to be at least two new islands which is typically what they do for each story um you know roughly speaking one or two it depends how big they are i suppose but you know i'm hoping because it is plural that there's at least two new small islands that's fantastic um because i do know that there's like been new big islands i personally found a big island um that had a bear on it a bear and some bees and i have never been there before i have never seen it um it, i mean it was pretty big right and it just had a wild bear and it had some bees and stuff you can catch with some honey i had never seen it before and to me that was new and i think just having like different islands um, sailing around it would be really nice it'd be fun to explore like who knows what's on there you know are, where are the containers what type of resources are in the water you know are there new animals oh my gosh they could have new animals i didn't think about that maybe new you know styles for the animals i don't even know what animals they could add to be honest with you hmm that'd be something to think about yeah, maybe that's something to think about, but let's go on. Let's see what else they have. They also mentioned new raft machines. I do know that they're coming out with a machine called the Juicer, which, if I'm going to guess, is going to give you a buff to your water or your, like, your thirst, kind of like really good food does to your hunger bar. So I'm assuming like with the juice machine, you can drink something and it'll give you like extra hydration so you don't have to drink as much. Um, I mean, you can carry around like water bottles that do have five sips per water bottle. I like to carry two now full of water when I go uh, like to a big island or just anywhere to explore. And that's that seems to be, you know, good. That's really good. But having, you know, uh, juice, you know, some sort of smoothie for the extra thirst, that might be really good. I might save an inventory slot. Uh, but it says new raft machines, and I wonder what else they're planning. I, I I don't know. I can't even speculate, but very excited to see what, what they have in store. They also have building parts. So they're going to add more. Uh, I, I wonder if they're going to add more things for the titanium ingots. Um, I, w I wonder if there's going to be some like higher end things we can build, or if they're going to add new, new, um, what am I thinking? Materials. New materials we can find. That would be really cool. Maybe like emerald or something? I don't know. Some sort of uh, stone 
uh, or something we can find in the water. Uh, that would be really cool, you know, or even just food and stuff. Ah, there's so much speculation. I'm so excited. Let's go on, though. This next section, though. New playable characters. Holy moly. The only two characters we have now, right now, we have Maya as the female option and Rauhi as the male option. As a whole, though, there's really no difference between them. They wear basically the same outfit, and, and you don't really see them anyway. But it looks like what we see here... Oh, uh, hold on. Before I go on, let me read this. I was way too excited. New playable characters. First up on the list are new playable characters that you'll be able to find and unlock out in the world. These will have a connection to the place where you find them and provide you some insight into their background. We are not ready to show the finished characters right now, but we will not leave you completely empty-handed. So here is a teaser. Okay, let's go over this teaser. Let, let me just take a, you know, a minute or two, maybe a couple minutes. Let's look over this. My initial guess here, going over it, I think it's two boys and two girls. I think it's female, male, female, male. That's my guess, just to keep things even and fair. Um, I, it looks like, too, that they're wearing different outfits. You can see the second character it looks like he's wearing shorts. Here's like a line down here, and the other one's up here, okay? But over here, this girl looks like her pants are rolled up. Even just right there, different clothing. That's just it's just different. Uh, and, and that alone is fantastic. Our two characters we have now are wearing the same thing. This just adds a bit more uniqueness, and I think that's fantastic. Um, and this girl here, I'm assuming it's a girl, because based off the stance and that she's wearing earrings, um, again, that's just that's just my opinion. Um, so I'm just gonna say she's a girl. But I like I wonder why is she holding a spear? Like, is she some sort of, you know, like shark hunter, water hunter or something? Is that her background? Does she I'm mean, maybe maybe she's gonna be decked out in like shark? Uh like maybe she has like a shark necklace or something. I don't know. But I, I, I like her the most. Now this guy at the end, it looks like he's wearing a jacket. It looks like he has his hands like as they come down, it looks like they're in like in a hoodie pocket. So either some sort of wind jacket or a hoodie of some sort. Um, and how he stands, he just seems like, you know, st not standoffish, but he's like, oh, I'm the cool guy. I'm just going to stand like this, you know. Um, they look great, though. Like, the silhouettes, I am so excited to see what who they are, what they do. It looks like we will discover them out in the world. So I don't know if that means as part of the story. Maybe we'll actually see people in the story islands. Or we'll just be venturing, you know, like sailing along and we'll have to visit all these different like islands we come across and maybe we'll discover one of them or oh, maybe we'll find them on a raft drifting by who knows but i think it's really awesome that they're like hey here's some new characters you unlock them by playing the game and i think that's that's awesome i think it gives us something to do it maybe if you don't find them during the story kind of like a post story chapter three thing you have to go out and see where these people are and just hunt them down I think that's awesome. I think that's that's going to be so much fun. Um, and guess in a way, I guess they. I hope they don't give us. Maybe only give us one during the chapter, or maybe only give us two. One for each new island, but the other ones, let us go find them. Like, give us some clues. Put them on some islands, random islands. Let's go discover them. That that would be something to do. So that'd be great. Okay, here we go. Here we go. New destinations. If you follow us on social media, you have probably seen some of the teasers we have posted there regarding one of the new destinations. In case you missed it, here you go. And I remember this. This, I was very excited for this. I am I believe, based off these pictures and some of the others, I think this is an, a half-finished um, city built high up in some sort of like mountainous area. Um, I don't think it's on a floating island. That's my guess. Or some sort of floating, you know, floating area. I think we're actually going to go to like a Balboa area. And it's going to have these buildings. That's my guess. What do we see in this picture though? We see this huge crane, okay? And if you look at the, on the side of, right over here, it looks like a zip line. And if you kind of follow it up, and you think, you know, you can find, you can see this ladder. It looks like, 
we have to get up here and then you can just kind of zip zip ride zip, zip zip ride well i guess zip zip line ride your way down um i think you go up um you climb up somewhere around here it looks like there's a ladder no or not just a shadow no that can't be a shadow might be a ladder here you might also have to somehow parkour your way up through this this you know uh half finished building not maybe not even half finished it's it's barely barely there but you probably have to get your way to the top climb right over here um and then you can walk over and there's a ladder climb the ladder up and there's got to be probably a blueprint something up there and i i cannot wait to see what that is um what else we see in this picture i mean it looks like there's a cool little uh um trailer like where the construction workers like have their plans and you know the, the boss kind of hangs out for the day and we also see some um i'm guessing it looks like a porta potty here it looks like there's one up here on the top too um we see some scaffolding in the back the place is very open so I, i'm assuming we have to go in here as well there's also over here in the bottom left another building so i bet there's going to be a few structures we get to explore very cool we have seen big skyscrapers um in tangoria the big floating city the the last uh story island we have right now so this is not something that's say not known to us but how they're doing it might be different i mean these things are probably crumbling and we have to really parkour our way up so that's gonna be very exciting i, I can't wait to see where this goes here's another picture we have um i noticed this like crane machine right here I bet that we're going to have to use this or something like this to move these concrete um, tubes. That's my guess. It looks like we might be able to use it, just like in Torngoria, where we had to move those shipping crates to get through that little puzzle. I wonder if we're going to have to, like, pick things up, you know, maybe somehow power this, maybe maybe provide it with a battery and and, and power it up and move something. Um, I think this is the same um, as here. I think this is the same spot. You can see some scaffolding here in the back and over here on the side. And you can kind of see some scaffolding here in the back on this one. I could be wrong, but... I'm Actually, I think I am wrong. It looks like the top is different. Like, this one's more enclosed. This one's, this one's here open. So it looks like a separate building. So that's cool. Different areas for us to explore and probably, you know, interact with. So even more things to do. So this is going to be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Now, the reason why I think that this was built on top of like a tall mountain that's somehow like maybe partially submerged in water is because of this picture. This is some sort of submerged, you know, skyscraper, you know, big, huge building. Um, if you look down here at the very bottom, this kind of looks like the tarp. Um, gosh, I can't think of the word, but if you would like sometimes walk into a hotel, they got this sort of like awning um, above the entrance. And I think that's what this is. I think this is a hotel. It looks like these are all separate rooms with their windows. And, you know, you can just go in here. So this is probably part of like a big city. Um, and this part is just submerged. We can see some jellyfish here. These jellyfish look very colorful and vibrant. I think they're going to interact with us. I bet that they're probably going to like shock us or something. We might even be able to hunt them. Um, maybe shoot them a couple times and, and maybe get their materials for something. Uh, who knows? But they just seem so there. Like they, they're not like the other. I mean, because they are kind of like, like the dolphins and sea turtles a bit, huh? I don't know. I just feel, I have a feeling about these jellyfish. I think there's something we got to do with them. That's my guess. I notice here that there's a spotlight and the spotlight is on, even though this is underwater. Um, it looks like here, if you look in the top left, how the water here is a little lighter. This is probably really close to the surface. I wonder if we have to turn this light on, like power this building somehow for something, because this seems really out of place. Why is this on? Ooh, quick drink. Down here, I'm not quite sure what this is. It's some yellow, almost looks like a big battery or a container, a big barrel. I'm not sure. Below the barrel, I'll, say, I'll call it a barrel, we see this coral. So this has been here for a while. 
some very colorful coral. I wonder if we can interact with it too. Maybe we can collect it for something. Who knows? It looks like we can go in uh, several places here. Because it is underwater, I bet we're going to have to use the oxygen tank um, to get down here. And I do wish that the oxygen tank does receive a little bit of a buff or some sort of upgrade. It does help when diving, but it's not that much. You know, it gives you like maybe, I don't know, 10-ish extra seconds, maybe 20. Uh, but I would really like to see, you know, some sort of uh, halfway decent contraption we can build to let us be underwater for, you know, a couple minutes. Maybe not like a very, very long time, but let us be down there, you know, for two, three minutes or so before we have to surface for water. Or for water, for air. I think that I think that'd be nice. You know, make it some expensive material or something. But just an upgrade to the oxygen tank would be would be really great. I think I think that would be nice. So we can explore stuff like this. Okay, next image we have. Oh, here is the angler fish. This is one of the two enemies they've shown us. With the other one being these like weird giant beetle guys. And I wonder when we're gonna see them. Oh, I wonder if we'll see them later, but I do know these look very aggressive with all their eyes. I'm assuming, I don't know what these are actually. That's gross. But I would recommend bow. Bring the bow uh, because we're going to need to shoot these things. And I don't, who, I don't know if you can get close to them like a puffer, a puffer, poison puffer fish when they explode. You can't get close to them. If you try to stab them, they think you're too close and they'll explode. Um, that's why the bow is just so much better. But the building itself, this looks like a room this looks like some sort of skylight it's not turned sideways so i'm assuming this is a room in the hotel there's not really too much here the walls are falling apart um it, it's like a kitchen well maybe it's like a house or something this looks like a kitchen over here and there's a dining room table looks like a door over here maybe we have to crawl through or, or swim through i don't know um, my guess is it's some sort of room or, you know, a section of this, like, giant hotel. Actually, maybe this is a huge apartment complex and not a hotel. Could be that, and this could be one of the rooms in there. Maybe that's what it is. Now, what do we see here? But, of course, that is not the only destination for Chapter 3. We have got something a bit more chilly for you. We posted the following images a while ago. This image here looks clean. And I mean that this image looks like people are actively here. You even see there's a little mug here. Um, there's only a couple papers on the ground. It's well lit. It doesn't look like, say, like a ranger station where they had trash and stuff everywhere. I do see what looks like maybe a trash bag over here um, on this like crate. But other than that, it looks great. And another reason why I think it's more habited are these two plants this one here on the table and this one over here underneath the staircase they're both very alive and you might think well that's probably just for decoration maybe they're just always like that you know i i think in tangoria there's plants like that and that's true but in the ranger stations on balboa if you look at their plants they're all dead those people haven't been there in a long time but these ones here are alive. Why would they have some plants that are dead and some that are alive? My guess is there's people here. Maybe even just one person. Maybe one of the new characters you can be is here. They're like maybe a, a, um, wherever this is. It, my guess is it's some sort of research facility. Based off, say, some of the other things that, that come on. Um, it is a very... You know, clean area, like I said. You can see a lot of electronics. You see this uh, laptop here on the table. Looks like there's some sort of, like, a little computer on this desk over here. There's, like, I don't know, Wi-Fi or something here on the wall. I'm assuming it's, it's like, uh, the internet. Something. Maybe a radio. Uh, broadband. Who knows, right? You see some things here on the wall. It looks like people are taking notes, figuring things out. I think it's some sort of research facility. That's my guess. Um, let's see what we got going on here. So this one. Now this one racks my brain. I don't know what this is. Um, it looks to be, based off this, 
um, some sort of facility that's shooting some green thing into the sky, or this is a byproduct of something. You know, maybe maybe you make something or something's being made, and this is shooting out the excess energy. I'm not sure. It might do something with the ozone, maybe. Maybe, you know, the planet got too hot, and it melted all of the ice, or a lot of the ice and cause the planet to flood maybe this is trying to fix the ozone uh, who knows you know who knows it seems very foreboding though it almost looks evil what if this is like a bad thing what if we find out what's causing you know um what's happening to the planet or what happened to the planet because of something like this there is a, a like a ladder here going up the side I wonder if, you know, we can climb up here and kind of see what's going on. So that's really interesting. I'm looking forward to that. All right, what have we got down here? There has been some speculation as to where they belong, and we are glad to be able to reveal their snowy origins. And to they, it means these two images we just saw. This big one here and this really nice one here. Let's look at this. Now, when I saw this, um, I, I looked at this dev blog real quick. I looked through it and I said, I'm going to record. I said, I want to record my reaction to this and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it on YouTube. So I basically had just glanced through this part. So let, let's take a look. When I saw this, I was ecstatic. I was pumped. A snowy area? This is incredible. I mean, this is going to be really cool. And I wonder though, are, um, are our characters going to take cold damage are we going to have to have like clothing or equipment that keeps us warm i'm gonna have i'm gonna go with yes i think that we are going to need something to keep our characters warm while exploring this while that is you know uh maybe we can make hot food like um like a soup or maybe we can, you know, craft a, a a blanket with wool. Not a blanket, but maybe like a, a jacket, you know, or something we can put on our character to stay warm. That's going to be my guess. Because I can't see us going into this area wearing our t-shirt and our shorts and being perfectly fine. We have to have something on. Let's see what we have here. We see some trees. These are, you know, snowy pine trees. Um, they look very similar to the trees on Balboa, uh, just covered in snow. So, okay. We see this right here. These two red antennas with the lights, or the, the, the antennas with the red lights, they really draw my attention. Because the lights are on, there's got to be power running to here. And it probably comes from down here. So it looks like this is some sort of research facility in some cold area. But if we're talking about the planet with trees, you know, my guess it's either in the extreme north, like North Pole, which it very well might, or someplace like the Himalayas. It can't be Antarctica. I don't think there's any trees down there. I mean, there's no trees in Antarctica. I mean, you know, maybe there are trees in this world because of what has happened, but um, it is very hilly. I'm going to assume that it's like, like North Pole or like really like Canada. That's my guess. Like high, you know, North Canada, North Pole, somewhere around there. Right here, we see this dome structure. Um probably another research facility. It might even be the research facility here. It could be this. This is actually rounded. It looks rounded. You see that? How this curves around? This actually might be this. So that'd be pretty cool. And this vehicle here, this truck with uh, these treads looks awesome. It doesn't look like you can really interact with it, but it looks really sweet. Uh, um, I, I think that I think it looks great. So it looks like this is some sort of Arctic snowy research facility. And we're going to be learning something here. What, what's our next picture? Oh my. Okay, so... This is frozen. My eye is drawn to the frozen water. I'm assuming that this is going to be like part of the ocean. I bet the closer we get to this area, we're going to see ice chunks. And it might be even difficult for us to navigate to here 
um, you're going to really need the engine and the motor, not the motor, the engine and the, the steering wheel to navigate through the ice properly. Um, these ice chunks are huge. We do see a little, another little building here. So this is going to be for something. I wonder if this, this image, this has got, I mean, obviously it's tied to this one, but this part here, maybe it's like you come this way. Or maybe you loop around and find this. I don't know. But look. Look at all this snow and this frozen. This ice is. I mean this is frozen water. So it's, it's cold here. So this is. I wonder like what we're going to be doing with this. Why are we going to a snowy area? It's a. I don't know. I, I'm, so, I'm very excited. This is. I think this area it, it is going to be great. I think this is going to be the second area we go to after the the like the in progress like half submerged uh one from earlier oh okay what do we got here okay this is another picture oh here's another little um not the station it looks like a little like this what would you call this like a little safety like um oh like a hut like a little like emergency like a like a rest point maybe maybe that's what that is we see some more round buildings. Looks like a building here. It looks a bit open. Like a vehicle goes in here. This looks traveled as well. So I wonder if people have been walking up here. Or else it'd be like really smooth because it's snow. Hmm. Look, we see the antenna. Another antenna here in the back. Yeah, this is going to be very exciting. Why would we come here, though? Gosh, I don't know. All right. What well, it says? We generally do not want to spoil too much of what is to come in our updates, as we believe it is better to experience most of it in game. Agreed. Therefore, we will hold on to the final destination of Chapter Three for a later time. Oh yes, there is a third destination. Holy moly! Oh, that's probably where the giant bugs are. If I remember, I think, I think they have a, they had a teaser picture or concept area, uh, some concept art of, of an area. And I, it seemed very like, um, Indian, like, like, um, it had, um, oh, like from India. How do I explain? Like, it looked like a stall, a picture of like a market stall with like nice tapestry and beads and if you it, the art made you look like you were in like a marketplace in India, and I wonder if that's the third area, huh? But holy moly, we have three areas in chapter three. That's incredible. I was thinking only two, but we're gonna have three. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. Well, okay, let's see. Story overhaul. Oh. <clears throat> With chapter 3 in the works, we decided to do a major refresh of the story. The essence remains the same, but we have written almost all of the notes to make them easier to read and follow. Unnecessary characters and names have been removed to reduce confusion, and we have made sure there is a, a more consistent and engaging story throughout all of the destinations. We have reduced the amount of text that does not add to the story, and we have added text that enriches it. We are even working on introducing playback for the notes for those who prefer to just listen while they keep playing. That would be awesome. To pick up a note and to hear voice actors just um, talking. That would be so cool. I wonder though if they do add and fix things. Do we have to go back to those places to get them? Or, like, like me, for example, I have earned the achievements for get, finding all of the notes in each story area. And so I haven't missed anything. Now, does that mean I need to go, to, would I have to go back and get more? I don't think so, but I think if you read through everything, there are a lot of characters. There, there is, there's a lot going on, and it... it in ways, it is hard to really determine, like, what's the overall story here? You know, what what is going on? And by doing this, you know, condensing everything, uh, making everything a bit more streamlined is a 
great idea. I think that'd be great. So, you know, somebody coming into the game, starting, will just have a you know nice, clean, you know, slate. They'll be like, okay, let's go. Like, and they'll be able to follow the story like really well. Um, I think it's I think it's a good touch. You know, I think this is good. Trading outposts. You might find yourself with a lot of stuff in your storage that you do not really need anymore. Well, that is finally going to come to use. You will be able to process a variety of items such as planks, scrap metal, plastic, etc. into scrap cubes. These cute scrap cubes can then be used as currency at trading outposts, which you will find at various locations around the world. The trading outposts will offer various items, including, but not limited to, special cooking and juicer ingredients, stunning hats and equipment. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot here. This, let, let's look at this. Okay. So one, there's going to be other, probably there's NPCs in the game who have taken up, you know, the, an art of, you know, uh, trading. That's awesome. Like, the fact that there's even other people here is great. But holy moly. Like, there are... you After you beat the game and you're drifting around, you will find, a, like, an unbelievable, unbelievable amount of resources. And there's even some resources you just don't want. You just get rid of them. You know, like palm leaves. Palm leaves are just... Are crazy. You get so many of them, it's ridiculous. But to be able to turn them into these scrap cubes and to trade them is is uh, that's uh, fantastic. And you can kind of get like just stuff in game. I I I'm very excited. I I cannot wait to see what this is. Let's let's look at this image. Um, the antenna or the little radio dishes on top. That's cool. Oh my gosh, are these the people? You can find a radio in the game, and you can also buy one. In Tangoria with those little coins. Are these outpost people? The people who run the radio stations? Because where else do those stations come from? Oh my gosh, that'd be incredible. That would make sense. Okay, let's go on. We see right here one of the small containers you can find in the game. I don't know what these purple tubes are. They look like crystals or something. There's a this long one and the short one. They gotta be either decoration or or for something maybe i don't know over here we have these there's these two balls there's a ball here and a ball here what are those crystal are they like crystal chunks can we find maybe crystals or something quartz maybe it's quartz huh this sign here a banana for money and strawberry for money okay all right, you find bananas and strawberries in Tangoria. You can grow them. All right, I see you. And we got some, you know, crates. Or not crates. This is a um, scrap hook, a bottle, another little small container, a book. Hmm, maybe this is, maybe they're like, hey, you want to research something? Maybe that's what that is. And what is this? Oh, this is their, <laughs> I see now. This is like a cash, a cash register. Doing math and whatnot. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. What if you can actually have that? What if you could sell things or something? Stunning hats and equipment. I'm excited for the hats. Right now you can only find if you go to the if you get to the two rare islands, you can get a you can get a captain's hat. Um like a sea captain's hat, and you can find a pilot cap if you go to the plane crash island. Um other than that, I think the only other hats are from the animals. You can wear the animal head as like a sort of hat. But oh, I I can't wait. I oh uh, maybe a cowboy hat, bandana, fedora, who knows? Oh, football helmet, maybe. Well, we'll see. With all that being said, we have many more machines, buildables, quality of life fixes, and much more in the pipeline. So we will get to that in a future dev blog. For now, we wish you a great 2022 and good times on the sea. Oh my goodness. Okay, and here's the, uh, I'll leave this part up. This is where you can find the Discord, their Facebook, their Twitter, Reddit, and Instagram. Um, all fabulous resources. My goodness, was this a lot. This was, um, 
there's a lot of great information here. Um, I, I'll add this to the I'll add this to the description, I think, but th this uh, I okay, so the trading outposts the trading outposts I'm excited for. I am I am very excited for the trading outposts, but the snow area, this this has me excited. Like I I want to go here so bad. I think this is going to be so much fun. And I I'm pumped. Um and I can't wait to see what they have here. Um I have some great like I have some off like awesome ideas for things I think they should add to raft or things I hope to see. Maybe I'll make a video about that and I had to stop myself from just rambling, but I'm already like 40 minutes into this video. Um, I'll put the link for this in the description. These links will be down there too. I highly recommend joining the socials, you know, at least one. They're all fantastic. Um, again, you know, we just went over the dev blog. Thanks for letting me ramble. Thanks for being here. Uh, and thanks for being a part of this fantastic community. Raft is a super fun game. It's so relaxing. You can play it by yourself or with friends. Great story, fun building. Who doesn't love being on the water, fighting sharks, finding out what happened to this ocean-covered planet? Oh, so much to take in. Chapter three. I'm chapter three should be soon. A few more months or so, maybe middle. You know, maybe summertime. I'm ready. I, I'm I'm ready. I'll be here. Uh, okay. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You know, uh, let me know in the comments below. You know, if you've seen this, you 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 know, uh, you read this yourself. You came through with me. Uh, what, what do you like? What are you excited for? What do you think the trading outpost is going to sell? What maybe some cool hats? Um, maybe maybe a cool hook design. You know, who knows, right? Just let me know. Let me know down there. Oh. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay stay good. Be good out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.